that lean though. So following this whole recent theme I've been doing uh, related to scooter videos, I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to talk to you uh, to explain pros and cons of scooters, uh, especially uh, compared to uh, your other option, I guess, which would be like uh, a regular motorcycle. Even though technically anything above 50 cc is considered a uh, motorcycle, I'm considering uh, a scooter to still be a scooter if it's got the body of a scooter and uh, the uh, leg passer that a scooter has. I was originally going to do the pros and cons in the same video, but I want to divide them into two parts that way I can be a little more detailed. So this first part is going to be focusing just on the pros a scooter has over um, pros in general and pros compared to a motorcycle. Uh, before I start, let me give you a little background. Right now I'm riding uh, a Honda PCX 150. Uh, I've had it for a little over a year. I uh, really like the thing. I also have, as my motorcycle, a CBR 500R. Both are 2014. Uh, that's what I normally ride, but recently uh, with school, I've been riding my uh, PCX 150 instead of my bike. So the pros I explain here are gonna really uh, help justify why I choose to ride my uh, my scooter over my uh, my motorcycle. Great. Uh, so starting with pro number one, why do I uh, prefer scooters over motorcycles? Pro number one. It's gonna have to be the underseat storage. One of the things you lose when you go from like uh, having a car to a motorcycle is the lack of storage at all. Yeah, you can get saddlebags, uh, but one, that's an additional cost. Two, sometimes Holy sh! Looks like the guy was coming at me. Uh, but it's not—it's not usually a, something that's standard with uh, a motorcycle. You have the stinky little compartment sometimes uh, under your seat that you can hold your registration, a few emergency tools, but that's going to be about it. With the scooter, yeah, you don't have as much space obviously as a car, but compared to the motorcycle, it's an enormous, enormous amount and a great improvement. I don't know the exact cubic space that this specific scooter has but I'll put that right there but it's it's huge so um so I got my helmet on the side so that's not taking up any space I can fit a bunch of other things in there so what I normally have in there are extra tools extra gloves a waterproof backpack cover I usually have some extra water in there uh, snacks I can keep my uh, GPS holder in there when I'm not using it I can keep all my camera gear in there when I'm not using it. So, and I, I still have a ton of room uh, left over as well. Now, again, with the motorcycle, I wouldn't have any of that space in there. So, that's uh, one of the main pros that I find of having the scooter over a motorcycle. Pro two, which might be a pro for some people, but not a pro for others. But this helps, especially when it comes to learning. And that's gonna be the fact that scooters are automatic. They're just twist and go. So you don't have to worry about a clutch or shifting, miss shifting. So if that's something that, even though it's fun with a motorcycle, but that's, that's, if that's something you don't wanna worry about or you don't enjoy doing, you don't know how to, you don't feel like learning, which I don't suggest not learning. It's, it's actually really fun to shift. But for whatever reason, if you don't wanna deal with shifting, generally all scooters, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be easier to learn on the scooter. So this is kinda of like reason 2.5. Um, in my opinion, it's going to be easier to learn on a scooter, get comfortable with that. However, if you were to just start on a motorcycle, perhaps um, something that might disincentivize you to continue to learn or might make it seem like mo uh, riding a motorcycle is a lot more difficult than it is, is probably the shifting because everything else is pretty much straightforward. Reason number three, and this is also a big one, cost of ownership. So generally, uh, everything on a scooter is going to be cheaper. Cheaper parts, cheaper labor and servicing the bike. Even tires, for example, it's, scooter tires are much cheaper than, say, for a motorcycle. It's usually easier to maintain the bike. You don't have to do as much maintenance on them. So it's cheaper to uh, run and maintain a scooter as opposed to a motorcycle. Reason number four is uh, fuel economy. Scooters get way better fuel economy. Yes, uh, that's mostly attributed 
to the fact that they have lower displacement engine but even if so this 150cc scooter is doing the same trip that my cbr 500r is but it's getting 30 to 40 percent better fuel economy so my cbr 500r can maybe get on average 50 to 60 miles per gallon depending on how i'm riding it this bike will probably get at least 80 miles per gallon kind of building off three but they're more economical than uh, say uh motorcycles for the most part reason number five has to do with convenience again while i wish i could uh take my bike my cbr to school over the scooter at times there are a couple reasons why i actually take the scooter instead so you have um the convenience of just being able to get on and off your scooter it's a lot easier to do that as opposed to a motorcycle you can just uh easily hop more easily hop on and off and it's a really hard concept to explain if you've never been on a scooter with a motorcycle typically you have to warm them up a little bit longer it's more of a process is what i'm saying to get on your motorcycle than it is to a scooter so there's less to think about with a scooter you just kind of because they're so light and nimble it's a lot easier to park it and then after it's been parked get back on it and then get out and you don't have to warm it up for as long it's a lot quicker and things like that especially for my case school like I always say like I can park my scooter right next to the bike rack and not get a ticket yet when I try to do the same thing with my scooter uh, my motorcycle despite them taking up approximately the same amount of space because it looks like a motorcycle because it is a motorcycle they'll give me a ticket for that and say I'm parked in the legal spot whereas with a the scooter they don't care scooters are treated a little differently and uh, I guess you can get away with a little more on a scooter but that is something to keep in mind maybe reason number uh, even though this is kind of like a top five list, reason number six, and this is kind of like a bonus, is that scooters can at times be a little more fun to ride around. Because they are lighter and they have uh, a smaller, uh, usually wheelbase from the front to rear, rear uh, wheelbase, and their tires are thinner, it's, they're a lot more nimble to just throw around like this. Even though I have my CBR 500R, which is considered a pretty, a relatively light and nimble bike that you can throw around, it's fun throwing this around as opposed to that. Similar to that reason, I guess like 6.5 also on the idea of fun. At slower speeds like this, similar to the other points I made where you, because you don't have to shift all the time, or if you're in a lot of commuting traffic where it's stop and go, for some people just having to shift constantly isn't something that they enjoy doing. By taking that out of the equation, it can be a lot more fun to go on the shorter commutes and uh, the ones at lower speeds like this, following more convenience as well. It's just a lot more convenient to take this at the slower speeds and uh, have a good time on it. So uh, there you have it. Those are my main top five reasons as to why a scooter can be better than a motorcycle. In my next video, I'll be doing the top five reasons why a motorcycle is better than a scooter. So yeah, uh, be on the lookout for that. I think because I do have the experience of having, of continuously riding both scooters and motorcycles it puts me in a good position to give you those reviews if you're someone who's kind of kind of trying to contemplate between a motorcycle or a scooter or trying to justify getting the scooter over a motorcycle hopefully this video helps you out as always guys uh i appreciate you tuning in to the videos any questions or suggestions throw them down below in the comment section share the video if you know someone who's interested in uh, choosing between a motorcycle or a scooter as always guys until next time peace